Hello and welcome to the Musical Chairs Podcast, the only podcast that invites you to pull up a chair and take a listen. Now, this podcast today is going to be the most dangerous one I've done to date. And the reason it's so dangerous is because the story is full of pitfalls and and dangerous things like roadside bombs and insurgents and uh, ideologies and a little bit of homegrown gangland warfare. Uh, So I want to talk about Syria, the Syrian civil war. Now, what does that have to do with music? I will tell you in a second. But first of all, let me give you the background on this. Apparently, there are two men who posted up a video to YouTube uh, fighting. They're Americans, and they uh, are fighting on the side of Syria. They're fighting uh, for the... um, They're pro-Syrian, and they are fighting for Bashir al-Assad's regime. And uh, they are uh, from L.A., gang members from LA um, and they posted up a video to YouTube uh, a few days ago talking about uh, representing they're representing their their gang and their their neighborhoods but they're all the way in Syria and uh, they uh, it's about the two minute long video I'll have a, a link down below so you can watch it yourself but what's really interesting about it is not the fact that they are um, gang members, but the fact that they are above that. They are uh, fighting alongside uh, Syrian forces and they're American, which I find really interesting. As part of the YouTube video uh, that you'll watch, there is a part where they basically do some shout outs. And that's what got me interested in this was that uh, the guy named Creeper, and if you look at him, lives up to that name. Creeper, um, he says, we're in Syria, we're still gangbanging. And he says, tell the homies in the Middle East, still gangbanging. And he goes off to say, he gives some uh, shout outs to a few rappers from the LA area. Uh, Mr. Capone E, Mr. Criminal, and Crazy Loco. And those three rappers are part of a crew uh, called the High Power um High Power Entertainment, and these guys are have regional uh, regional fame. These guys actually have recorded with many of the seminal LA uh, rappers, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, you know, The Game. Uh, I mean, it, it, Busy Bone, uh, Sugar Free, MC8, Little Flip. I mean, they they've got some actual like real recording credits to them. So these guys are for real. Um, but what I found interesting about this shout out was that the three rappers were like, uh, we don't know them guys. No, no, we, we, we don't know them. No, Mr. Capone E, uh-uh, I don't know who they are. Mm-mm. Mr. Criminal, yeah, I'm a criminal, but I ain't a criminal all the way over in Syria. I'm a criminal right here. And Crazy Loco's like, I'm crazy, man, but I ain't that crazy. So uh, they put out a statement, a joint statement, and it's, and it's coming from Capone E. Uh, and it says, I've spoken to Mr. Criminal and Crazy Loco, and none of us have any associations whatsoever with the two men in the video. I've been very blessed to have the most amazing fans from all walks of life and with all kinds of political views. I personally do not condone any type of violence or any type of action that leads to criminality. I'm, I'm by no means a political person and will not be speaking on the subject of Syria on which I'm wholly uninformed. Very interesting. That statement of, I personally do not condone any type of violence or any type of action that leads to criminality. Now, you got a guy in your crew named Mr. Criminal. I mean, uh, Crazy Loco and Capone. I mean, all that is violence related. Uh, so you're doing some, you know, I'm not saying that you're condoning it outright, but you know, you're, you're bringing in that element of violence into the game. Uh, as a result of doing that, but I do applaud these guys for having some goddamn sense. Smart. Very smart. Because they realize that these dudes are basically now targets. They are going to be... uh, The U.S. government's not going to screw around with these guys. Um, And they were smart enough to basically say, whoa, uh uh-uh, we don't know those guys. Um, You know, publicly, at least. Uh, if not ideologically, at least to save their own asses. Because the U.S. government is going to send a drone after these guys now. Uh, and these guys are going to get droned out. And, uh, yeah, not a good idea. Not not a good idea to be an American-born fighting for a foreign, um, for a foreign uh, you know, country. 
And so I, I'm interested in seeing what's going to result as, as of this. I don't know. I don't know what our, our government laws are with regards to being an American citizen and fighting and aiding another foreign, um, uh, a foreign entity. And I'm going to guess that it, it it's illegal. would be my first thing. But then again, look who we're talking about. These guys probably already don't give a fuck. So, uh, that's not a not a concern but i mean it you know the u.s government army air force marines they fight see you fighting for somebody that they're against uh they will come after you and man i hope these guys uh shoo i hope they figure out what they're going to be doing pretty soon because i would hate to be on the other side of that so uh really interesting i'm gonna stay on top of this story because i think it's uh it, it, it's really really multifaceted and it has a lot of different dimensions to it versus some of the other stuff that i normally do so anyway um again i commend capone criminal and crazy loco for coming out against this and uh at least being smart about it uh and i'm going to see what happens with creeper and uh what's the other guy's name i don't know the name of the other guy but um, you know, creeper, keep your head down. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, okay. And another thing, the FBI is investigating the video to determine any potential threats. So, I mean, these guys, man, you got the FBI after you now. I mean, they're going to get the army and all that. Ugh, man, you guys are, you guys have an interesting battle to wage, but you know what? Keep your heads down. Hopefully you guys come out of this alive and, and, uh, you know, hopefully not get in too much trouble as a result of it. So anyway, that's all I've got for the Musical Chairs podcast. Please comment below. Please, if you know anything about uh, government involvement uh, and what what it means for you as a fighter, if you're allowed to go fight for another country uh, on their behalf and, and basically, you know, uh, you know, let's say it's a country that's not even fighting the U.S. in some awkward way. Like, maybe it's just a completely isolated war. Are you allowed to do that as an American citizen? I have no idea. So, explain to me what you can do. Uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think about this, and uh, check out the video for yourself. Anyway, I'm Nelson Velasquez, and thank you for watching. is he's been uh, relatively uh prolific in the last uh 15 years by producing uh records by all kinds of hip-hop and r&b people uh as well as putting out records on his own uh as the neptunes and uh, his solo efforts and he currently has a record called happy um that you is find out that you know what not everybody on that stage during the halftime uh set is actually playing at that point so it turns out that during Bruno Mars's uh, inaugural uh, Super Bowl, I'm sure he'll get more Super Bowls in, later in his career. Uh, it turned out that the Red Hot Chili Peppers were going to join him up on stage and jam.